I want to run through some of the stunts you've uh, done over the years and just get your uh, immediate reaction or what you know what comes to mind uh, getting mauled by a tiger that was scary right the scary part was like it was biting my neck uh, because of my hoodie you know and and stuff like that and it was the second time right because you hate doing it twice because the first time I panicked and didn't let him attack me I dropped first and then he just landed on me so it's like you got to do it again and I don't and to, in order to get a tiger to attack you which I can't even believe is legal there's actually a place in California that you can go to that no, does this. Mind numbing. The fact that it even exists, someone was like, yeah, I think there's like a place they do it for stunts. They would probably let you do it if you did it for your show. I'm like, what the f what? And you have to taunt the tiger. It opens up the cage, you gotta be like, come on, tiger. You know, you gotta taunt the thing, and then it guns after you, and it's like, I know you are a trained <laughs> tiger, but this is just like, you know, and you get laid down, and then that particular time, like, it was like, ow, ow, and they were like, put it down, put it down. You know, like, as if I was like a chew toy, right? Because he was like mauling on, he had gotten a hold of my hoodie and was like chewing on my neck, right? So that was uh, pretty, interesting experience getting bit by a shark i would say that's one of the absolute scariest things i've ever done in my life because it, you just it, you just have there's such a great unknown right you have no idea how powerful it is you have no idea what it's going to be and and furthermore i'd never actually scuba dove before right so i'm just even getting used to like being underwater like was super scary at first and trying to figure that out then then you have to the shark has to get you here right so you have to you hold this wrist and use the leverage because if it gets a hold of here and gets gets a hold of the arm it'll just shatter your arm right so i'm like man ain't this some shit, man what the fuck, man this isn't even funny and then i was down there with tuna on my arm on a sunken ship in the Bahamas, 60 feet down, like, man, what in the, f there's sharks everywhere, and like, just like, oh, you're trying to get a shark to bite you now. When that thing came in, and just, wham, right? Like, it, it's like, you can't feel anything, because your adrenaline is like, so hardcore, you can't feel anything. And I just had this like, moment of like, oh my God, like, man, like, man, this is like a real shark on me, man. Like, this is like, what the f this is f crazy, right? And. When that thing let go, it was just like this incredible, like, ah. Oh, and I remember swimming back to the boat, and I just told myself, man, stop. And, and look down at, like, all of these sharks and the sunken ship. Like, you are never going to see something like this or experience something like this again. Like, put this in your memory. So I'm just like, okay, good, let's go. You know, right out of there. And, and so it was, it's, it's an amazing thing to have lived Got to, got to do, you know what I mean? How about surfing with Laird Hamilton? That was the only time that I really almost died, right? It looked like you got beat up pretty yeah. good there. I, I'll tell you what's great about that is not only people like Laird Hamilton, right? They, they're they lacking, there's a self-protective gene that you have that most people instinctually self-preserve. So they have, they don't get scared or they get super scared and protect themselves. He doesn't have that, right? And the problem with people like that is they think everybody else can do things that they do. So when I was like, could I get told, could I, could I get in? Easy, nothing, be nothing, easy. So by the time we got out there, I had to wait 10 extra days, right? And it was a great episode of Test Your Man level. You know what I mean? It was so great. You're, gotta, you're in I, like a mansion in Hawaii. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, don't, don't get me wrong, but that whole episode of like throwing the spears and climbing and just like, you know, these manly men, it's so great. And I gotta, I'm gonna go work out with Laird this week. I wanna shoot another episode with Laird. So I sent him a text like, hey, I'd like to shoot this episode. He's like, why don't you come to my house and I'll show you the treatment and you can decide if you wanna shoot the episode. I was like, okay, f it. Now I'm gonna have to go like just get all manly with Laird. But the, the, what had happened is, the thing with getting towed into a wave is you usually face what you're about to do, right? And the difference was, is it comes in behind you 
and you're like, oh, this is crazy. I, you know, keep in mind, I've never surfed. That was the first time I'd ever surfed a wave is when I got towed into an 18 foot wave. Did, did you think though, you, you might have a chance given you were a professional skateboarder? Oh, God, easy, and maybe easy, there's some easy. similarities. I guess the thing I was worried about was getting up like on the ski. I tried to jet ski before and couldn't do it many years ago. So now, like that was what I was afraid of. And then the spookiest part is like, you're just laying on your back out in the ocean. It just feels like there's just sharks all underneath you. It's just like, Wah but just got annihilated by that thing. It's like a house falling on you. And, and what had happened is I got caught by two waves and I was down for so long that I just finally like, like was trying to hang on, trying to hang on, trying to find the surface, trying to hang on, trying to hang on, trying to hang on. And finally it was like, I, like, like nothing left to give. And right when I gave up, I like popped, popped up and he come flying in and grabbed me. And he's like, we are done. You know, because he knew I almost died, right? He knew how, how dangerous that was. and Really? For how long I was down, right? And How long do you think you were down for? I don't know, it felt like half hour. Uh, it was probably like a minute. Uh, but yeah, he did it. He was spooked by that in like the most major way. Like, and I know for sure he's like, feels like, we dodged a bullet on that one, you know, so. Did, did you think that was it? 100%. Like really had to give up. Like had nothing, like, had to give up, was trapped and like just had to give up and kept fighting and fighting and fighting, fighting with everything I could, like struggling, trying everything I could to find and like finally like, like my arms couldn't move. Like I couldn't even like, cause I could have no oxygen left and just finally like, like went to pass out and popped up when I, when I went to pass out. It's trippy. For more clips from this interview, visit GrahamBensinger.com.